Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Deontay Burton, host of Change Lives. Yeah, I want to talk about a subject that a lot of people stress that they can do or pushing other people to do it, but they have, they have no business even trying it, and that's multitasking. A lot of times, people try to juggle three or four things at a time, you know, and it's push here, multitasking, doing two or three things at once and everything, and that's cool. But I think, number one, people need to be realistic if they are a multitask person or not. You ever notice, like, when you go to the circle, circus, rather, and you see the guy juggling the balls? You got a guy who can do three balls at a time. He's concentrating, got them going. Then you may look a little further down. You got one, another guy doing five balls, and you might got one guy doing ten. They got them going, you know. You know, the guy with 10, I mean, without effort, he's just doing them and stuff. And the guy with three, he knows better even getting that round. And I think the problem comes up, you have too many people that think they can juggle 10 balls and they can only juggle three. Hell, someone can't juggle number one. They just need to throw the ball up in the air and catch it, okay? They are one task at a time person. And far too often, people don't do any kind of uh, self-assessment to see what kind of person they are in terms of how they can handle tasks. What I want to advise people to do is, number one, what I just said, do the self-assessment and be realistic with what type of person you are. Can you handle more than one thing at a time? Do you get stressed out when things change, when you have to make, you know, on-the-fly adjustments, things like that? You're probably not a multitasker, okay? Or you just multitasking the wrong type of things. And uh, what I would advise you to, if you're doing multiple tasks at the same time, find a, a, a good way, if you can't handle those, you know, seven to ten uh, tasks at a time, find a good way to prioritize certain tasks to where you can handle them. Some tasks you have to give full 100% attention to, okay? Some that are kind of light, you might can do two or three of those at a time. Say that's driving to a certain location, which is a task, and also making phone calls while you're doing it. You're knocking two birds out of one stone. But if it's a situation where, two birds out at one time, I'm sorry, but if you know it's a situation where you have to, you know, write a speech, do a proposal, uh, you got a whole report you got to draft. You got to get at your full undivided attention, okay, and be realistic with that. Don't try to do that while talking on the phone with somebody or try to answer emails at the same time. Find a way that you can allocate certain tasks that you have to do. You know, there may be some of the more difficult tasks during a certain part of the day where your brain is more active, and some of the more physical or active tasks like picking stuff up, cleaning, later on in the day when you can't, your brain is a little bit zapped, but you still can move around. You just have to be, again, assess yourself to know what kind of individual you are, how your brain works, and really what you can and can't do, okay? So I hope that helped everyone uh, in regards to multitasking because, again, I see that uh, phrase thrown out too much where people want to multitask and do several things at one time, and they have no dang business doing it. So... Uh, if you like that information I just put out, make sure you go to uh, our YouTube channel, Changing Lives, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton. Have a ton of uh, uh, other individual uh, videos that can help you all. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe to, uh, to this video, and also subscribe to the channel, rather. And as always, make sure you hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.